Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Niemer here, and welcome to another episode of Against the Storm. If your first time joining here, this is a good time to join because today I'll be starting a new city. Yay! Anyhow, before we do that, I will be I'll reminding you that you can find the full playlist in the comments or description below the video if you want to watch my journey in this wonderful roguelite city builder from the start. Otherwise, sit back, relax and enjoy and, you know, maybe like and subscribe if you like what you see. So what's new quality of life update? In this update, we are bringing you some long awaited gameplay and interface improvements such as a game history screen, a citadel summer view, a button to understand all woodcutters and shortcuts for buildings. We've also introduced numerous balance changes to service buildings buildings, Stormforge cornerstones, regular perks and level up rewards. Hmm. I still didn't get the chance to read about the Stormforge cornerstones. I probably should. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so yeah, balance changes. All right, uh, so let's go and play. Uh, so here we are. Last time I unlocked something new, something fresh, something new, something fun, something interesting. So if you go to upgrades here, uh, -ba 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 -ba. bam, factions, factions will settle the world map alongside you. You can set up trade routes with their towns and compete with them for bonus resources at the end of the cycle. How wonderful. So here we get points. As far as I understand, you get points as you settle next to like these special resources here. Um, but yeah, so they will embark in five, four and seven years respectively. And I'm embarking now, so hopefully I can I can grab this from them. Yes, that's the plan. I'll actually, I feel like going here. So let's see, what are we gonna play on? We're gonna play on... The marshlands, yay. <laughs> A harsh, cold land that has been claimed by many different extremely resilient species of fungi. The ground here is extremely hard and rocky, making it difficult to farm. This region is most famous for the giant organisms that can be found in its forest. Oh, that's not good. Small amount of fertile soil. I do like to f to rely on, on soil to mm, do, do my stuff, so uh, this is not that great. I hope I can still make it work though. So yeah, conditions. We don't know. Additional facts. Abandoned settlement. Another viceroy tried to settle this area, but unfortunately failed. You start with a small destroyed settlement in your initial glade. Oh, that's nice, I guess. The marshlands are gathering feathers. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Our right, gatherer's paradise. Gas gathering speed is increased by ten percent for every two workers assigned to gathering camps. Mm. Okay, the marshlands are home to enormous life forms. Giant resource nodes can be found in forbidden glades. Each glade will have a different one. Right, so it's prudent to have a way to gather from large. So we need to be gathering here rather than farming. Ugh. And I will increase it to prestige too as well. Blightroot appears every third clearance season, so that's gonna be interesting. Okay, so I started ma like marking my cities. Every first city on a new difficulty I play on, I'm gonna call just prestige and the number. It's easier for me to track and organize stuff, stuff like that. Besides the number, the name of the the city doesn't really like you know adds much. Anyway, trees, wood, fuel, and exploration, and we get mushrooms from trees and leather. Okay, and then natural resources we have eggs, stone, mushrooms, meat, grain, coal, and copper ore. So pretty basic, but we do have meat. Um. So hopefully we can make jerkies. Uh, we can start with some lizards here. Mostly humans though. So we started with a pack of basic gits and like well, we started with some biscuits. Now that's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if I should turn consumption of biscuits off so we can have them when we need them. And two random people. Let's see if we get I really hope for beavers, not harpies again, but it will be what it will be, and uh, I will actually grab some extra humans again. I mean, some extra people again. Um, and let's see what else. If you grab people, I should probably grab food, right? And then what we need, hopefully we can get stone. 
meats. Yeah, let's just grab some food. So we can like delay production of food for a little bit longer. Works worked for us in the past. So, and yeah, that's about it. Let's uh, go and dive in. So this is like kind of a slow burner, kind of long, hard game. So, right, additional effects, prestigious expedition. Only the bestest, only the bestest of ice risk in the back. So this is the prestige one penalty. We need four additional reputation points. Last time it didn't really be, it wasn't really a big problem. This thing though, large swarms of blightroot migrate across the realm. Every third clearance season, five blightroot cysts will appear in the settlement. So I will need uh, firefighters, blight fighters, right? And then let's see, okay, this one is a standard one. Then we got flooded roads. As a result of heavy rainfall during the storm, the travel cost of trade routes increases by two. Okay, no problem. It's like we we just don't trigger the trade routes during the, the storm. Rotting wood. The rain is causing the trees to rot and fall apart. Woodcutters fell trees 50% faster, but have a plus 100% chance of destroying their yield. Uh, usually I don't uh, do stuff during the storm woodcutting anyway, so whatever. Uh, faint flame. Strong gusts of wind strike with holy flame. Resources you sacrifice in ancient heart burn 40% quicker. Probably I don't care because I usually use the I usually use the sacrificial resources to help with like this other stuff and they are just not consequential right now and now for the big bat bam let's see what is the last one Insent insatiable hunger oh no we had this one last time it's kind of bad working in this environment requires a lot of energy villagers have a higher chance of consuming twice the amount of food on each break 10% for each hostility level so yeah uh, worst case scenario, double food usage during the storms. Actually, not so bad either. So this should be an easy one. Uh, hopefully, maybe. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Interesting. Interesting. So we start with some extra stuff. Usually start with an ancient heart. And a warehouse. But we also got a couple of extra buildings. We start with a functional woodcutter's hut. Christmas came early this year and we have three more buildings which we have to rebuild. We have a bathhouse. Oh, by the way, let's see. Oh, no, the harpies again. <laughs> Where are my beavers, my dear, dear beavers? <laughs> my woodcutter. So I love you so much. You're not here. I can't see it, but I'm touching the screen of my monitor. Oh, well. Um, Alchemist hut, a building destroyed by the storm. It can be rebuilt. Uh... I don't rem how do I check? Oh yeah, there we go. So this thing produces do tea and I never really use tea. Okay. Uh what else? What else? Bad house the treatment harpies and foxes have a strong need to treat any symptoms of their disease caused by the blight root. Global production rate is ooh, that's pretty nice actually. Every evening villagers gather to talk, bait, and strengthen their bodies. Okay. I mean I'm not gonna rush it, but Manufactory, ooh, training gear out of stones and planks. Yeah, this might be good. We can also produce some pigment. Uh, all right, and we can produce uh, packs of provisions. Okay, this might be like high priority for me. The manufactory seems pretty good. And we already look at this one, right? Yeah, this is our tea producing building. We can produce dew from like insects and stones and rainwater now crystallized dew is really good you can do lots of fancy stuff with it uh this already looks like it's gonna be a little bit different run than it usually is okay 
Oh, what's that? Left click to unassign all woodcutters currently 0 out of 3. Okay. <laughs> I, I suppose that was a highly uh, requested feature. Rainpunk. Rainpunk. Rainpunk technology utilizes the unique properties of the rain to power advanced machinery. You can harness this technology by installing rain engines in your production buildings and filling them with infused rain water. Rain engines can increase production speed, improve the chances of additional yield, and reduce the workload on workers. To install rain engines, select a production building and navigate to the Rainpunk tab. These engines require pipes for installation and need to be filled with rain water to operate. Once installed, you can adjust their power level, monitor their water consumption, and see the speed at which pollution blight route is generated. There are three types of infused rain water drizzle, clearance, and storm. These can be collected from geysers founding glades or by using a rain collector. Each geyser contains only one type of water and a geyser pump must be built on top of the geyser to extract it. Rain collectors gather rainwater based on the current season. Different buildings require different types of water. Drizzle water is primarily used in food production. Clearance is used for crafting and artisanry, while storm water is used to boost heavy industrial production. On difficulty levels higher than Pioneer, using rain engines to boost production result in the growth of a parasite known as blight root. The more infused rainwater is used in a production building, the faster blight root cysts will appear on it and eventually spread across the settlement. For more information on blight root, refer to the blight root and corruption entry in the encyclopedia. Unlock rain engines by buying the Obsidian Archive Level 6 upgrade in the Smoldering City. Cool. Right, so yeah, let's assign some woodcutters and let's see. I like to clear stuff around the. the... Can we move these? No around the the warehouse first because that's where i put my industry so i'm gonna put this thing like right down here and uh let's see let's go and chop some trees here good but i will build more of these anyway um okay we start with some mushrooms i usually i don't really okay uh let's see how do we do this all of these are kind of useful. Uh, I mean, that will piss people off, right? Yeah. But I think it's okay. Save those biscuits for a little bit later. Okay, and then do we want to save anything from these? Maybe meat and insects so we can make jerkies. If we get appropriate building, of course. Let's see. Let's see what do we get in terms of buildings, though. Choose new buildings. Bam. Smithy can produce tools, codes, packs of trade goods. Do we do a tool-centric run? I could. Because I do have access to crystallized do. Uh, wrench. Wrench is probably a bad idea. Because... I doubt I will have like a lot of a lot of these since uh, there are very few fertile grounds around. Although you can use insects also. Um, I'm not super excited about ranch. And then there's druids with Alan. Let's go for Smithy. Um, because I can use the I can use the manufacturer to to create, no, not manufacture. Where do we make do? Bad house. Right. So I can use the alchemist hut to produce dew from storm water, stone, and well, some of these. Then I can use that to produce tools, and tools can be very useful. Um. Sure. Leather worker kiln. Ooh. Now I do love me some kiln. Um. Yes, I think so. Can also produce jerky. Probably not a very efficient way, but until we can get a better way, it's gonna be all right. And the third and final building here. A smelter. Forester's hut uses nearby farm fields. No. Planks, lumber mill. Oh, that's so tempting, actually. Okay, what do we need to build this monstrosity? Bricks and cloth. Right. Okay. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna go into lumber mill as fast as I can. I'm gonna use that as a basis for my trading and stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna need this in the, here in terms of buildings. So first we need to get some basics up. Um, so that's gonna be some woodcutters uh, and houses. But let's start with woodcutters because, well, it's hard to build houses if you don't have any wood. We start with 10 so we can build one. That's not gonna be enough though, so. Woodcutter scam. So we put one in there and I'm gonna put one here. Okay. And I'm gonna put one here. There you go. So we're gonna get that's three woodcutters. I could maybe go with four. Um, how many people do we have right now? So I have five, okay, nine more people. Um, yeah, but we also need to gather these things, so. Okay, let's build the woodcutters. Also, let's see, uh, we need some roads. There. Okay, nothing there yet. You can build some here, good. I'll move this thing later. You can move woodcutters freely, so that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna put some roads there, and let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, usually I put like a road here, but like I don't think I'm gonna do it this time. Okay, I'm gonna put roads behind here also. So now that we have a lot of builders, it's a good time to put some roads down. Because soon, well actually let's do like a normal setup here. There we go. And yeah, let's put a mushroom collector down as well. I'm gonna tell them to prioritize this woodcutters though. And then we're gonna unpause and let's see. Oh yeah, the collectors also. That looks good. Uh, I can also prioritize this, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna be eating mushrooms for a bit. Okay, and the woodcutters are done. So I'm gonna be like, this one can be manned by lizards. There we go, and this one can be manned by humans. There we go. Good. Ah. The wonderful little city taking shape. Okay, let me pause here, put some humans in. This is gonna be a nice thumbnail. Hopefully I can find it. Good. So before we can start repairing these advanced buildings, uh, we're gonna need a lot of resources like planks and fabric and and bricks. And these are kind of hard to make. Uh, what do we have in terms of resources? We have some stones here mm, and some mushrooms, but I would hope there's a third type of resource here. I wonder, is there like any way to highlight the resources? Okay, if I press control, I can see this, okay. If I press Alt, I can see people. But as far as resources go, it doesn't seem like... We only start with two nodes? Is like these three buildings we got for free, like instead? Oh, well, maybe. Anyway, let's click on one of these and see. We should only have one builder right now. Okay, this lonely harp is just standing there, contemplating life and all that good stuff. there okay we could upgrade this thing i guess uh oh yeah right we need houses now so so let's go and build those uh i guess we can put them inside here that's one that's two okay go harpy go needs to be done uh we got like what four 13 homeless people so we're gonna let four five houses i want to say yeah oh Right. Cornerstone. Fungal guide. Ancient mushroom farming techniques are described within mushroom production increases by one every 25 times it is produced. Uh, that's insane. I'm going to grab that. Increases the production speed of copper bars, crystallized dew, and all recipes that use metal ingots by 30%. I don't need the speed. I don't think so. The settlement specializes in training gear production. Gain plus one to lizard resolve for every 10, 70 training gear produced. Mmm. And we can also decline the cornerstone on for some money. So they really are uh, like making this game better and better. I like to see that. Um, mm. I feel like this can get out of hand really fast. So let's say we have 18 charges. 
Like the more mushroom patches we find, the better off we'll be. And since we're not gonna be doing a lot of farming, I'll probably do a lot of exploring. <laughs> so, although this one seems really, really good for late game, I'll just go with the simple one here. It's gonna give us a nice leg up at the start. So, uh, we'll also need like. We'll also need to get things going. And the first building I really want will be the... Oh, where is it? It's going to be the lumber mill. So we're going to need two bricks and two clothes. So... We need a crude workstation, basically. So we need a couple of bricks. And a couple of clothes. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit tricky to produce that. We don't need so we need some stones. So I'll also go and build a stone gatherer's hut. Now we don't have people to like. Oh, harpist resolve is low, is it now? Why are you upset? Because I'm not giving you access to cookies. Oh, don't be like that. Um. Right, stone collector's hut. There we go. And this thing will go... Not very happy about this, but like I'm going to put it here then. So I'm going to need to gather some stones here. I mean, soon the woodcutter is going to clear some stuff. So the harpy wants to leave. It's not the ideal situation, but... Um, I'm just going to tell the lizard here... Uh, oh, well... As soon as the houses will be done, she's going to be happy though. Okay, we have a little bit of time, so let's wait. Oh, this poor, poor harpy. I wonder if you get rid of the only harpy, can you like... Can you get beavers then? There. Okay. Big the orders. So this is the orders that Queen gives us, the stuff we need to do. Objective, complete any two dangerous or forbidden glade events. Plus one, production of that. Some coal. Right, or deliver five packs of crops. I don't think planting crops is 25% faster. I'm gonna go for this one. Complete any two dangerous or forbidden glade events. Okay, it's gonna take me a while to do that, but hey. What is this? So this is the same one we got before. Uh, Geyser pump. Used to extract and pump infused rainwater through underground pipes to production buildings. Um, do I have pumps available? Oh, there's more stuff here now. Oh, we do. It's a basic building. All right. Uh, then we'll grab that. And finally... Keep lizards resolve above 15 for 30 seconds. That seems like a really good one. Ah, this is one's this one's also really easy though. Deliver five tools and then we get five parts then. Oh boy. Um Yeah, I think this one's in general much better, especially since I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble making clothes. Not sure how long it will take me to do this, though. I mean, food is also kind of nice, but... And two people. Okay, let's grab that one. I mean, I'm not gonna rush these, so... We have time, so... yeah. Um... The game is so fully quiet. Oh, we need to unpause it. Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, we can actually, can we get some resolve reputation from people? No, they are, have a reputation re, uh, threshold of 30. So this one lonely harpy, it really is doing its best. So you can see people running around, doing stuff. Okay. So I do want to get the all the houses up and running before the, before the storm comes. Okay, I'm going to shove in this rest of the houses i mean this is relatively close to warehouse but mostly i want like the production buildings to be like here ish 
Okay, I can build one here, I guess. Usually I build them here. But that's like really bad. I always end up moving them later on. How are we doing with food? I mean... Fine-ish still. And we are gathering a lot right now. I'm wondering if I should like... Get another builder going or... We start working on these. So we can allow leather. We get leather by chopping down these trees here. No. Yeah. But most importantly we need houses built so... I guess this one also can get done. We have like, what, three more minutes? They're passing by really, really fast though. Okay, how many homeless people do we have? Seven, yeah, we need more houses. Okay, she's working on the house, that's good. And now she's doing, okay, then she's gonna finish that thing because she ran out of wood, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah, not much else we can do here for now other than just stockpile on a lot of trees. We already have 50, so that's really good. I'm gonna put, yeah, so I like the human one better because it slows down the accumulation of Queen's Impatience. Um, but then Harpy gets pissed, right? So hopefully Harpy moves into one of these houses and I can put back the human uh, Pyre Keeper. No, she's like, okay, she, she got the house, so. Uh, so now we can put the human back in here. And the lizard back to wood chopping duty. I didn't have a wood chopper for a while there. But things got built faster because of it. So it's kind of alright. I was already already complete contemplating a little bit if I should do that or not. I guess it happened by accident. Okay. Right. Now we have more space. Okay, I'm going to move this thing a little bit to the left here. Okay, this thing still doesn't fit in there, but it's gonna ch wood chop mostly there. Yeah, and you really need to decide where to put the houses, and I need to put them down. Okay, let's uh, put them here. It's relatively close to their house, but not that close. So we need two more houses to like uh, have those, and hopefully these get finished before the storm. That's all what I can say. So yeah, this is an introductionary episode where we play through first year, try to get things nice and going. Um, once the storm comes, I'll probably move people to like production buildings. Uh, let's build another cruise workstation maybe. How are we doing with this thing? Uh, right, so we have some leather. We could start making those. Yeah, I'm thinking about... I'm gonna start like mining those. Okay. I'm not sure if I should like... Oh, Rotting Wood is only active on Hostility 2. Well, we are on Hostility 2, but we can get below that by removing some people from Wood Shopping Duty. Which I want to do anyway, because I want people in here and here, so... Well, before Storm comes, we're gonna do that. Okay. And Storm is here, so... I'm gonna remove... This one, and I'm gonna remove this one. I wonder if they finish their work. Okay. Okay, so these dudes can go and harvest the stones. That's pretty good. So we're on one now, so we have what? Flood roads, right? Oh! I could go and build a trading post. Um, not sure if it's really worth it right now. Because we can, don't really have a lot to sell. So we will not really be able to buy. Yeah, that's true. What I do want to get built though is I want my... Uh, where is it? I want my lumber mill to, to be done. Oh, this thing is like actually big. That's what she said. Okay, so I'm going to place it here and there so so it starts being built on so we're gonna need fabric and bricks we're gonna be working on fabric here this dear lizard here is gonna make it out of leather harpy's resolve is low okay um why and why so low rationing looming darkness 
mostly looming darkness because in general people are not very happy because they don't have access to stuff I don't want my people to leave I'm gonna tell them you can eat the biscuits there you go just to stay a little bit happier than usually okay so she got some biscuits and then she didn't and then maybe she gets some more and then she doesn't I mean, I could probably reduce the dangers here even more. We would have to remove all the wood choppers then. We can achieve it though. We can achieve it. There. And then we're gonna put them back in. Now this shuffling, I don't know. Like, they never really solved this issue. Uh, unfair rationing the night need Ooh, I messed it up I turned it on for humans only and now she's gonna leave I can be like you're my favorite please don't leave now lizard's gonna get a little bit pissy but there we go <laughs> and soon Soon the storm will be done, done, so we're gonna stabilize here. And you know what? Okay, let's not do it just yet. Okay, she didn't even eat the biscuits yet, so... Okay, let's wait for the storm to end, though. Bam. Okay. Uh... So that costed us nine biscuits. It's okay. Okay. Um... Right, right, right. Uh, so we get newcomers. Yay, I'm gonna be able to do more stuff. We get some bricks and leather. That's actually pretty good. Harpies are not though, but okay. Um, Right. And then let's see a new cornerstone. Deserted caravans, lower production 33% faster, but traders take 50% more time to arrive at the settlement. Poof. Now that's interesting. So we go into more like less trader like playthrough. Gain two insects every time woodcutters cut down a tree during the storm. Huh. Woodpecker technique. Now that's interesting. I don't like chopping trees during the storm though. Calming the forest. One who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with all. Every great event solved by making a decision marks his empathy, lower hostility by 40%. You know what? I might actually increase global production by 33%. I'm not sure if that actually increases the, the speed of wood choppers, though. Um, we can always call the traders in early by clicking on a come here early button. It's an interesting decision to make, actually. So how much clothes do we have? I don't know. This dude is just finished producing some... Well, usually at the end of first year I'm gonna make a cut anyway so but let's uh, let's repopulate the things before we do that I'm gonna put some harpies in this one here there we go let's press alt C who's doing what we can get another woodcutter here good okay we actually don't need this lizard in here anymore though so we're gonna put back humans in there there I'm gonna unfavor the harpies so things stabilize good I'm gonna need a couple more houses. And yeah, we maybe maybe we do build a trader. I'm just gonna place them here behind the heart. Positions of horses don't really matter like at all. What is important though is not to clog up the area around the around the warehouse. So now at some point we're gonna be low on food, so I will want to like Going to glades, but well, not quite yet. So cut that and let's see you. You can go and cut that. So by holding control, I can tell them not to open glade. I think that's a really nice quality of life thing. Like, I don't think it's cheating. If you're very careful, you can do it anyway. So uh, it just speeds it up. Right, so what's the situation right now? I'm very happy with the buildings we got. Um, these will be relatively hard to do. But that's okay. Um, 
So hopefully I can, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get the lumber mill up and uh, go and sell some lumber. I guess that's the plan. So for that we're gonna need a trading post, which is like kind of a big building, which I also don't want to have too close to the warehouse. So I guess I'll tuck it in here. Or here even. There. Because I kind of want the road here. Okay. So yeah, the plan would be to get this thing up and running. We're already working on the cloud for it. And then we're also going to need bricks for it, which we can make out of stone. So that's good. So if you get, if you get two of each, we can do it. So let's prioritize the bricks here. There we go. It's like I'm eating and resting and grabbing ingredients. But dude, you took the wrong ingredient. There we go. So now he'll make the bricks. And then once these are done, we're going to be able to build this thing. Wait, what? We already have two bricks? But then we only need fabric. Don't we have fabric? Where did the fabric go? Force delivery now. Okay. So yeah, we can now build a carpenter. We're going to start producing some nice planks at really high efficiency. Yeah, three into two. That's insane efficiency, actually. And then we can sell that. So we don't really have a lot of builders right now. So it's going to take a while to build all of that. But uh, it's important to get my industry going. However, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully that you did enjoy it. If you did, do not forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Do something nice. Uh, be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Against the Storm. The Neomers signing out. Bye-bye.